All right, this is a bit different than my normal episodes because I'm gonna review a product that I've reviewed in the past. It's right here. It's this X5, the JJRC X5. Can you see it here? Let me just punch on some lights. The JJRC X5, and it has a movable camera. And the cool thing about the movable camera on this X5 is that it doesn't make noise when it goes up and down. Your controller doesn't go beep, 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 beep. So these guys actually got it right. This is one of the best drones. It's a GPS drone, one of the best drones on the market. Now, the reason I'm sitting here talking to you today is because now, even though I've reviewed this here drone before and I loved it, it had great reviews and they sell a ton of these things. If you haven't bought one of these yet, you got to get one because they're so awesome. Um, the reason it's sent to me is because of this. So at Christmas, <laughs> so at, it's getting dark in here. So at Christmas time, you could get uh, the X5 in a case, with a case, see this big case right here. And inside this case, you get the X5, the 1080p camera that hangs underneath and it's very nicely stabilized. It's not image stabilization, but it's on like a, a system that takes away any uh, vibrations or whatnot. And uh, you can get three batteries with it. And it was at a really good price. Now, every now and then, oh, here comes the water. So every now and then GearBest will have this thing on sale. I don't know if they have a sale right now. They might have a sale right now. You'll have to check it out. Um, but if they do, then I would definitely pick this up because with three batteries, you're all set. This is the drone. Let me just grab the drone again. This is the drone that I recommend for anybody who wants to get in the hobby. It's either this one or the MJX RC uh, 5W. I think that's the same as this one here or the Bugs 2 SE or the X8. All of those drones, they're all pretty much similar, are really good. So the only difference between this one and like the X8 is that this one has a movable camera, whereas the X8, it's fixed. All right, now I'm gonna go to my field and fly this. Snow, 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 snow. Ice, I'll slide all over the place. Well, this is what it's like here in my area. It is uh, January and it's pretty darn well cold. Why is it cold? Because it's winter. Why do I keep talking about the cold? Because I'm cold. Anyways, today we're going to uh, fly the X5 and the X5 JJRC is a pretty decent drone because I've flown it before and I love that drone. And uh, you know, it's pretty good for flying in light rain or like it's snowing right now. So I'm not gonna fly it too far because my tiny little goldfish brain forgot to bring the little cell phone a holder that goes on the controller so I got no place to put my cell phone I'm gonna have to put it someplace in the snow or on the ground so I'm just gonna sit in my car and enjoy the nice warmth all right it's snowing pretty heavy out here hey guess what though I found I found my little adapter for my little controller but I don't think I'll stay out here because it's kind of like really snowy so let's just power this on let's power this on push the battery in there we go. Lock it in place. See, there's two lines of batteries, the top one and the bottom one, transmitter and receiver. That means you're connected. Do my little dance. If the lights go all solid, then it's good. It's not because they're frozen, like my little finger here, but it's all good. See my little wheel? See, I can move it down and I can move the camera back up, up and down. And there's no beeping. It's perfect. So uh, that's a good thing. Hit this little button to start the motors. Start, start, start. Hit this little button, take off. Watch out the tree right beside me. There we are. Oh, it's cold. When it does that little vibrating sound, that's called a cold drone. Yeah, oh no, that is too cold. Oh my God, it's cold. I don't know if it's gonna warm up. Now I'm gonna show you a video from this indoors. Indoors, there's no jello or anything. It, all the drones that I review outdoors, You'll get jello because the motors, when they get cold, see it, look at a wobbly, and those little rubber things that hold the camera in place, they become frozen. Whoa, 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 time out, time out. Now, before I fly the drone, I have to say the following. When I fly drones in the wintertime here in Canada, it's not cold, it's freezing. It's like freaking freezing cold. So uh, drones don't really work well in the winter. Now you've seen me do a lot of videos when it's been really, really cold and some drones have done well, other ones not so well. I did a drone video a while ago of a really nice drone and it was winter and I explained to everybody that when it's cold, the drone doesn't work well and you get jello in the video. Meanwhile, probably about 15 people posted, oh, it's got jello, I wouldn't buy that drone. The drone works fine when there's no cold or freezing. Now this drone, the JJRC X5 and the Bugs 5, 
They both do not fly well in the cold, just like all Bugs drones really don't. But you can still fly them. They're perfectly fine to fly. What happens is when it gets cold, the electronics get cold, and these little brushless motors start to vibrate, and you get this sort of gyration happening. And uh, your video, well, starts to do this too. So it's not really that good. So it's not fair when I make the videos and you see me flying these in the soup super, super sub-freezing temperatures. Like, you have to live here in Canada to know what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's not fair. So in this video, you're going to see this drone. And because it's cold, all these little rubber, little dampeners here, they're all frozen. So it can't stop any vibrations. The motors you're actually going to see shake a little bit in the air, and that affects the video. So please do not post below that there's a problem with the video. The video's fine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to fly this indoors, and I'm going to film myself right here in front of this camera, and you'll see the video's very smooth. There's my little drone up in the air and I'm going to turn it around, look at me and put it in record mode. All right, so here you have the drone flying around. I'm going side to side. Do you see any jello or anything? Nothing. I was... <laughs> okay, I was in front of the drone, but those spinning blades of death are scary. So here it is flying around my little area. Look, I'm, I'm whipping it around side to side, back and forth. Do you see any jello? Do you see anything? It's very smooth because it's, well, it's indoors. So it's, that's the way it flies. All right, so you saw it indoors, how smooth it flies and it doesn't wobble around or anything like that. But watch when you're gonna see it outside in the cold. Now, once again, it's not cold like maybe in your area. It's freezing cold, like below minus 10 degrees Celsius. And these things are not designed to fly in that temperature. That is frozen. Look at the wobble. Look at that wobble. That means wobble everything. Probably wobble. Yeah, wobble video everything. I could see it in here. I'm just going to go on the controller. It's got a follow me option. I'm just going to say yes to the follow me option. And uh, there we go. These uh, drones usually have one of the best follow me options. See, I've left it away back there and I'm out here in the cold and I'm just gonna move away from my car. All right, so now we're in follow me mode and I'm just going to run and it should go over the trees. It has no obstacle avoidance, obviously, so it could crash into the trees, I don't know. Come all the way back to this building. There it is up there. And if I run at it, or I'll just walk at it. It will go backwards along with uh, the controller here. Ooh, my finger's getting cold. I'm gonna have to go sit inside pretty soon. This is what an X5 looks like out in the snow. Beautiful snow falling and this is what it looks like. It's still frozen. You know, it, like I say, it's minus 13 Celsius out here. So it's having difficulty with the motors. The motors are like a little wobbly a little bit. Look at them. Here we go. Let me show you another cool thing with this. I like the uh, I like the orbit mode. It's pretty neat. Get over the trees. All right, it's in orbit mode, so I'll say yes. It should or start orbiting me, which is pretty decent. I've got it at uh, a 10 meter radius. That's my favorite, so it should go around 10 meters, orbit me right here. Now my plan was to sit in the car and fly this, except that with all the snow falling, I can't see anything out the windows. My windows keep filling up with snow my side windows so you know you got to keep your drone in sight so I just can't do it while it's snowing unfortunate so I'm out here freezing all right so that's orbit mode yeah that is cold it's shivering big time I'm gonna bring it back to me shiver 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 all right so it also has waypoint mode and in waypoint mode I figured out that you have to cache the maps while you're at home before you come out to the field so I did that and I actually have maps you can see them on my screen so I'm just gonna draw some waypoints uh, just over here in the field. So on the screen you see a green dot, that's me, and the blue dots are the waypoints, and that's where the drone is going to fly to, so I'm going to tell it to send. I'll just hit submit, and it should go. I hit yes. There we go. It knows where to go. I told it to go fly someplace over there. Try not to hit the tree. Oh, I was close to the tree. And it's going to the waypoints, which is way out in the field someplace, way over in the field, and it's doing its little waypoints. It's showing me on the map that it's at waypoint number, where is it at? It's not even at, oh, it's going to waypoint one, then it has to go to two and then go out to three. Yeah, so it's heading out now to two and three. There we go, which is gonna take it pretty far. So I'm just gonna cancel that. It's sitting out there. So now let's just try the uh, return to home, see if that works. Here we go. I can't see a thing on my screen. Hold that down. The drone is far, far away. It should come back to me, hopefully, and not go to China where it was made. All right, let's see if it even lands close to the landing pad or is it going to land in the tree? Here, I'll bring the camera down so you can see what it sees. 
There we go. It's not even close to the landing pad. It's coming down. Well, at least it's not hitting the tree so far. Is it? Let's get over here. Oh, it's gonna miss the tree. Oh, what's it gonna hit? Oh, where am I? Oh, is it gonna hit the tree? Oh no, 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 don't hit the tree. It's hitting the tree. It's chopping the tree. Oh, that's different. Here, I gotta... Oh, it got itself out of the tree. Whoa, there we go. Hey, we're all good. Let's bring it over here. All right, so you can see why I highly recommend this drone for people trying to get into the drone hobby. Or if you're already in the drone hobby and you want a really good drone to like smash around outside, these things, I won't say they're indestructible, but they're pretty close to it. I've had a lot of fun with these drones and look at my controller, it's like full of snow and the drone's full of snow, but it flies really well. There's no issues whatsoever. So check them out. I'm gonna put a link below. This is on the GearBest website. Uh, they might have a special on right now, I'm not sure. The one I have is this drone with a case with three batteries and a lot of fun. So you got to check it out. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me get rid of my hand. Hang on a second. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully when it's not cold and when it's not snowing, but the odds are it will be. See you then.